very good morning good afternoon good night whenever you will watch this video so today our topic is the difference between orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting both of these methods are used for the metal cutting operation and both of these methods are based on one angle and that angle is made by the direction of the feed and the cutting edge of the tool as for example in the lathe machine supposing you are moving your uh, tool in this direction that means direction of feed is this and edge of the cutting tool is like that so i am talking about this angle this angle so with the help of this angle we can decide that which type of cutting method we are using as for example over here we will see about this angle so first difference is which one that this is your work piece and that is your tool so that tool is moving in this direction so that direction is known as direction of feed and uh, that is the cutting edge of the tool so that is the cutting edge of the tool so angle between direction of feed and cutting edge is how much that is your 90 degree that means in orthogonal cutting operation the angle between direction of feed and cutting edge of the tool is 90 degree whereas in the oblique cutting the angle between direction of feed and cutting edge is less than 90 degree now from the figure you can see that as you will move your tool in this direction so that would be your direction of feed but edge of the tool is not perpendicular like this but it has some inclination so that is the edge of the cutting tool so angle between direction of feed and edge of the cutting tool is how much it is less than 90 degree so that is the oblique cutting operation now next difference is which one its application now uh, that uh, this type of operation is used for what purpose? So that is used for parting of the uh, workpiece. As for example, on the lathe machine, if you will move your tool or if you will provide the feed of the tool in this direction. So what's happened? Whatever bar is there, that bar will be divided into two parts. That is known as parting of operation. Also, this method is used for the slotting operation. That the slotting operation means you have seen the keyways. In the keyways, certain slots are there. So that slotting operation is done with the help of the this orthogonal cutting then uh, with the help of this operation we can reduce the diameter of the workpiece also now over here that uh, applications are which one that it is used for taper turning operation as you can see that is your taper portion so it is used for taper turning operation also this method is used for drilling purpose and boring purpose also now as for example supposing that is your drill bit and that drill bit you are moving in the downward direction so that direction is which direction direction of feed so direction of feed is this and edge of the tool that is the edge of the tool so edge of the tool is this so that angle is less than 90 degree so that is why this oblique cutting is used in uh, boring operation as well as in drilling operation also now next difference is what that uh, this type of orthogonal cutting operation is known as a two dimensional cutting operation now question may arise that why orthogonal cutting is known as two dimensional cutting because over here on the tool whatever force will act that force has two components which two components first one is the cutting force in this direction and due to that cutting force thrust force will act perpendicular to the cutting force as it has two components that is why it is known as two dimensional cutting two components first one is uh, cutting force and second one is thrust force and over here that type of oblique cutting is known as three dimensional cutting why it is known as three dimensional cutting because whatever force that will act on the tool that force has three components first component is which one cutting force that you are acting in this direction and next is what due to the cutting force perpendicular to cutting force one thrust force will be created and over here edge of the cutting tool having some inclination that is why one more force will act on that inclination that force is known as a radial force that means that uh, in oblique cutting force has three components first one is cutting force thrust force and radial force that is why this type of cutting is known as three dimensional cutting also now next difference is what that uh, in this orthogonal cutting the production of shear force per unit area is very much high over here i have written production of shear force per unit area is very much high that means if shear force per unit area is very much high so more friction is created and if more friction is there between tool and workpiece so what's happen more heat is generated 
so more heat is generated and if more heat is generated so temperature of tool is extremely high so that life of the tool is less and in front of that in oblique cutting uh, we can say that that uh, production of shear force per unit area is very much less and if production of shear force per unit area is very much less so i can say that less friction is created between tool and workpiece if less friction is there so i can say like that very much uh, less amount of heat is generated and if very much less amount of heat is generated so what we can say temperature of tool is less and if temperature of tool is less so tool life is very much high in the case of oblique cutting so these are the differences between orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting now i would like to end this video till then read hard work hard thank you very much